Hello everyone, how are you going? Welcome back to Mini Motorways where we're just going to be checking out another new map and it's all the way down at the end here, Lisbon. Now clearly I haven't played this map before and that is an awesome colour. I'm kind of being thrown off by this colour scheme that we've got here, but I like it and I also have to make sure that I don't lose too much concentration and it just comes and sneaks in something I don't want. So I guess for now let's just create a bit of a buffer zone to help prevent that and yeah, let's just see where and how this map progresses. And then I guess looking down below, it's interesting to see that I start with two traffic lights and nothing else, but there is water in this map. We're just starting to see it peeking in over from the right, and then it also said something about a river meeting the Atlantic, so I don't know, I'll keep an eye on that. What are we going to get? Uh, yeah, definitely going to be taking that bridge. Thank you. I don't need four traffic lights before a bridge after I was just talking about having water. But then I guess we can also play the guessing game of what colour is going to be next. I guess maybe it will be another one of the same or will it be a... Oh, wow, it's an upgrade, but that would certainly call me off guard. But I'm thinking a green would go fairly nicely with this. Ah, of course you had to go and do that. Let me just block this up a little bit before you go and spawn your secondary. I should have plenty enough road tiles just to block up every possible spawning location. None of this, none of this, none of this. And then if you would be so kind just to spawn right next door to that, that'd be lovely. Come on, give him a second. Where is it? Eh, that's slightly better. At least it isn't across a few lanes of traffic. Hmm, that's a bit of a hard one. I feel as though you can definitely get caught out more by not having bridges than roundabouts though, so I'll continue to take them, especially because they did mention two bodies of water in the entire title there. Like we can see, it is just creeping in more and more. It is actually quite a wide body of water. The Tigers or the Tigers, I'm not sure, and I'm sure I just butchered it. Oh my goodness, but then look at that. That is actually huge. Hopefully it doesn't expand too much to the right. Oh, but I'm just now finally seeing a little slither of coastline or... I don't know, beach, I guess you would call it. And so I guess that means that I definitely will be crossing that, which is a bit painful, but I guess actually it's all the same bridge. One bridge is one bridge. It doesn't matter the road tiles. And then with a the motorway, lovely. But wow, it is actually quite an intricate little map we've got here. I'm seeing quite a few channels starting to emerge. And then a yellow is also emerging. Uh, I guess just joining them like that. And then maybe just the rest, just so it doesn't get completely overloaded should be okay. There's not much else I can do besides using my motorway. And I'm not really in the mood for that right now. Hey, there we go. Finally, I can get my roundabout that I postponed because of the bridges but to be honest I'm very glad because look at that it is so intricate there are so many little bits and possible bridging opportunities and it looks like I'm going to be darting between a lot of different islands and spawning locations oh and I'm still even yet to see the entire Atlantic come into it and so this could be very bridge deadly I guess I should also look at what it looks like in night mode uh, yeah it kind of looks like everything else in night mode but the colors certainly pop Oh yeah, I'll absolutely take that. Thank you very much. Give me all those oranges just facing right down there. Ooh, there we go. That's what we like to see in terms of getting a motorway. That's not the worst thing in the world. I have a few blues up the top left, and so I can pipe them straight over, I think. Eh, you know what? I guess I would have squeaked this guy through just to help out there because he is racking up quickly, and then, yeah, everyone else should be fine. But obviously, we're still only on three colors, and so, okay, consider me completely wrong. That is now four colors, even though blue and blue are one color. I'm glad I've got my bridges now because I can use them if I can draw straight. My goodness, I'm making forks all over the place. Anyway, there we go. Everyone's happy there. And then is there anywhere that I should try to be blocking up? Honestly, I don't know if I should. I feel as though if I try, it's not going to go in my favor. At least I'm getting another bridge because, like I was saying, if I do try and Lock things up and then it goes and spawns like that guy it's not gonna go very well for me wow okay that guy's just upgrading already so i'll use that bridge and bugger that one off oh of course i've run out of bridges and now i have to wait for someone i guess it shouldn't be too long here we go come on get off that bridge my man Ooh, that's a little bit of a tough one because I don't even have that many blues to begin with and most of them are being used by that big pancake in the middle there. Otherwise, I'm shipping them a long way around. I just got a Lisbon tourist achievement, so that's good. But, ooh, I'm not too sure. I just need a few more, but I can't wait too long. I should be able to wait to the end of the week, though. Come on, Monday, you can do it. Honestly, I'm just getting a little bit nervous about how long. Okay, a bridge, that's good. That at least gives me a couple of options. It just allows me to keep my motorway for later. And I am looking at yellow and looking that they are piling up. That will take some pressure off. But oh, I don't have a bridge for them though. How can I get a bridge back? I'm not really seeing how. Maybe at the end of the week I'll get another one. But I don't think it's going to be that generous. So I guess if I really had to, I could send the blues along that road. It's only 500 points at the moment. I'll leave all the other road infrastructure in. But I will dismantle the bridge and then just see what happens at the end of the week. Okay. Um, that's a very long way away from everything else. Oh, and I don't want you spawning on either side of that. No, 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 no. We're not having this game. Blocking all of that up. Block you up because that would be deadly as well. And spawn on the south side of that entire road, please. No, 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 no. Stop that right now. But I just can't keep my eyes off yellow because they are constantly stacked up. It's still spawning in a couple of houses. So I just need... 
okay, I guess I'll take another bridge and just see what I can do with it. But it doesn't really fix yellow. I just need to be able to, I don't know. I mean, to be honest, that bridge is going to be going straight into doing that because I'm definitely worried about that orange. I was toying with the idea of doing something like this, but I don't think it changes anything at all. I think it just moves where they split off. I mean, I will try it. And I wish there was a better way for motorway one to be in use, but that dark blue is so far away from everything else that really isn't as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I do feel as though I'm approaching a thousand points, I have to be willing to put my second motorway to use, but I'm just holding on to it because I do not know what this map can possibly throw at me, and it might just suddenly throw the entire Atlantic at me. Oh no, and another yellow down there. That is brutal, I think. For now, though, at least that it can actually take the pressure with six, five houses on it. But that top one is going to be struggling pretty soon. And I'm also worried about that light blue over on the right because it's getting a lot of traffic around its entry and exit. Okay, here we go. Another motorway. Problem solved. Everyone can just... Ah, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I was going to say problem solved because everything was solved, not because you just went and did that to me. But anyway, at least I have motorways to be able to fix that problem. But all of you guys, then just go straight over there. That should be fine. Three... Maybe that's even part of the problem. I only have three yellows right there. Well, that is certainly something to consider in the long term, but I think for now, I've got one up my sleeve still, and I was able to place one, so I'm just happy overall. Just trying a bit of a change up. I'm not sure entirely if it will work or not, and I've still got all the other infrastructure that I previously had just ready to go if need be, but I just was trying to get the oranges and the blues a little bit more concise. Ooh, okay, something just spawned in. I think it was an orange. I'll take the roundabout because I just used one, and that is perfect. I can get you off, and I can just turn these guys around that I just got off the other guy. Oh my goodness, it couldn't be better. I mean, I could have another bridge and then just put my blue system back in so then it's not clogging everyone else. So actually, I'd probably use a bridge over on the right, but, you know, you can't have everything, and that's certainly something. Um, yeah, you're piling up very, very, very quickly, aren't you? You're going to catch me off guard all of a sudden. I've got a few people down here that I can join in, then I guess via the roundabout makes the most sense. Oh yeah, that's what I like to see. Straight on down there, you otherwise useless people. Thinking about it though, we only have what, five colors? Is that normal? I guess, well, I've only got three motorways, four motorways now, that isn't normal, but I've got orange, yellow, dark blue, gray, and light blue, is that right? I guess it definitely matches the aesthetic of the entire rest of the map. I feel as though that's the entire color scheme that they used. Between yellow for the beach, you got light blue, dark blue, a bit of gray mixed in here if you kind of combine and mush them all together, and then dark blue for the water. Anyway, getting back to the real game though, how do I want to be using my second spare motorway? Hmm, too many options. If I also had a bridge, that would be nice. It would give me a bit more leeway in what I can move around where. I guess for now, I might just use it as a squeaky wheel gets the oil kind of situation where whoever starts to dive the most first gets the motorway first. So many light blues and that is a little bit worrisome because I only have two and I only have five connected to one and oh, everyone else connected to the square piece of toast. But there we go, 2,000 trips has been accomplished. I'll take a bridge, there we go. Now I can just actually just move some things around. I'm definitely gonna sit here for a couple of minutes and think about how I want to do this because it has to be right, but there has to be also a good way to do it. Now look, nothing is an absolute guarantee in this game. You never know what is going to be thrown at you. That's why I love to keep a motorway up my sleeve and I still am managing to do that so far. But even though motorway three seems like a complete overcapitalization, I think just cleaning up the right side and changing a few other things around long-term should be better than what I had. And so even though I can't exactly tell what I'm going to need in the future, I think this setup should allow me a bit more flexibility. I just need more bridges though. I am also worried about that light blue down the bottom right and I'm thinking that I might venture, okay I've got another one in there, you can join straight in, but just to stop the flow, I will venture into connecting a few of these many, many, many people that are down here in there. There we go. Come on, everyone. There are plenty of car spots there. Let me just stem this problem before it even becomes a problem. Everyone gets to go. Hopefully, okay, they're not going because, what, the job's already queued or what? Oh, my goodness. Look at the traffic build-up for light blue. What is going on there? Don't tell me those guys... No, okay, good, they can't go all the way around. I was worried there for a second that they could go all the way around to the wrong one. Oh, you know what I love. Thank you very much for another motorway. You know what, I'm just going to move that to there and that over to there. That takes the motorway out of my possession for a second, but it will come back to me. It just needs a little bit of time, and I still need a few more bridges, and I guess I did just get a motorway, so I can't be complaining too much, but come on, just a bridge as well as a motorway would be lovely. Can I take two? There is no way that that light blue is still dying. Is there any way that I need to kind of unblock that I've blocked up that just needs to 
to be spawning in. Here we go. Let me just give it some room because there is nothing I can do if that isn't enough. It's got everything under the sun. Come on, spawn something in. Like, what are you talking about? That one over there is dying. It's got six, no, seven, seven houses connected in via motorway three direct to its front door. And it's a piece of toast and it's still dying. Like, Light Blue need to get their stuff together and just start spawning some more houses, I think. Ooh, we're approaching 3,000 points and things are looking eh, relatively unstable. As I wouldn't say that anything I'm looking at is a particularly controlled situation, but things are certainly just spawned in. I just have to make sure that I've nabbed every single one of them. And then if there are any yellows that I can pipe up all the way around, that would also be a good thing to do a little bit preemptively because that could be a problem that it will just kill me out of nowhere. Or not really out of nowhere. Honestly, I'm surprised they haven't killed me already. Come on, people, you need to be moving a little bit faster than that. I know it's over 3,000 points, but get that wiggle on. I guess looking around, what can I do? Because things are starting to pile up, but there has to be something I've got a motorway and whatnot. Oh, what? I hadn't even realized how much of the dark blue of the end of motorway one had been piling up. I mean, I've been talking about that being the bane of my existence this entire time because no one is over there. But anyway, let me just, I guess, siphon a whole bundle more people into there. I honestly, I don't think it would matter because they would take too long to get there, wouldn't they? Unless I put in another motorway away and take you guys from this side oh that sounds deadly as well but anyway that is what it is that's a long motorway but if i can just fit enough cars in that car park that's probably going to be my main problem fitting enough cars in that car park because they can't spawn anywhere else like i said i'll start to unblock and get my road tiles back not that i need to but my goodness just spawn in another dark blue please i've only got three and they're overloaded okay wow immediately i unblocked that and light blue spawned in i sure i guess if that's what you really want to be using my resources for come on people you need to be flying in but i don't think Think people are going to be getting there enough there's just not enough cars it's so close but there's no car spots motorway five to the rescue everyone look at this they're trying but there's just no car spots they literally cannot fit and that's what i don't get what am i meant to do when they just do not fit anymore look at that it is no, it's dead isn't it oh that is so painful because like i said there are so many cars down there we saw it zoom into about 50 different cars i express shipped about 90 over motorway five and it still wasn't enough and so i think there's plenty of volume and i I can see that there is plenty of volume because there is still six cars sitting at home and so that's not the problem it's at the other end how do you get enough light blues and enough dark blues into one when you just can't get them i don't get it but hey what can i say for a first attempt at lisbon i'm not too upset with that getting five motorways was certainly nice and it's a nice color scheme so let's just go see how i'm ranking in the great scheme of things 109 days and three and a half thousand commuters so at least i did actually break through that troubled 100 day mark of course i'll have to check out troubled waters eventually but let's just see what is going to be five percent you know, for three and a half thousand to be in the top 5%, just missing out on 200 is a bit disappointing by literally one point. But hey, like I said, first attempt, you can't be too mad. And so I'll just be coming back for you, Lisbon. But anyway, in saying that, I reckon I'm going to call it there. So thank you for watching this episode of Mini Motorways. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to do the YouTube algorithmic things down below. Also, if this is the first video one that you're watching, then make sure to go check out any other ones I've done. Like we've seen before, they've just been releasing maps left, right and center over the last month or two. So just go check those out. Or hey, maybe even just want to consider subscribing. So you don't miss another one of these in the future but all in all have a good one and see ya